there are pieces that have been looted, stolen, from the Dundo Museum. A lot of these masterpieces of Chokwe culture and art were missing. A lot of them were out there on the market in private hands. Very often with people who had acquired the work without knowing their origin and the fact that they had been uh, looted. We decided to look for them. Tomorrow we're going to have the privilege to show to the public for the first time the three pieces of um, Chokwe art that we have managed to find back and that we're going to bring home. Two of which are very emblematic Chokwe masks. It's called Mwanapo masks. Actually, they represent the virtue of um, femininity in uh, the Chokwe culture. We were confronted to an interesting problematic, which was trying to find a mechanism where we would at the same time raise awareness about the fact that these works had been stolen. So managed to identify the works and managed to establish that these works specifically had been looted and find a system and a mechanism by which we could actually organize their repatriation to the museum. We decided, through my foundation, to create a fund that would gather the 15 most important companies or individuals uh, in Angola. We have work with all the archives. We have work um, like spreading the message across and around. We have work um, with lawyers. We have work with um, finding the pieces and then of course, we have work acquiring. At the same time, we invite the collector to be part of the story of the repatriation of the artifact, coming to Angola, bring it back to the museum, and meeting uh, the king of the Chokwe people. I would like to raise awareness and share my passion and my admiration, my devotion to African classical art with the African audience. It's not possible that African art uh, is unapproachable to the African public. This heritage coming back home would be an amazing opportunity to introduce the Angolan public and the African public to the treasures that civilizations have actually created.